out she was from New Jersey, I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely with it. What, 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 do you, what do you think of uh, at this point? What do you think of tomorrow's games? We're not going to watch them, but – Tomorrow's games? What, who do you think is going to win? I would be surprised if the Aces don't win. I, I would be surprised if the Aces – I think the Lynx are going to win, and I think the Aces are going to win. You think the Lynx are going to win in Connecticut? I think so. Do folks want to know what the, the what the get-in price is right now in Vegas? Yes, Sony Citroen 2. Absolutely. West Coast. That that Notre Dame team has some has some ballers on there. They definitely got some hoopers on that team. Ain't you know, nobody got time for tomorrow's game. You know what? You know what the get-in price is in Vegas for tomorrow? Oh God. 40, Half a leg? $43. 43 bucks. Jesus. Man. This is on vivid Jesus. seats right now. The ticket ranges from $43 to $332. You know what? You know what I could get when I went to a heat game for three hundred thirty-two dollars, a hot dog and a coke. Yeah, yeah. Because a ticket for a playoff game for a Miami Heat game, in 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 the semifinals or Eastern, I guess will be the Eastern Conference Finals comparatively. Forty three thousand dollars. Christ. Oh man. Here, how, how about a uh, Connecticut? Connecticut. Friday night lights, no basketball mm. for me. What's it? What, what you got? High school football. Yeah, game, varsity South game. Florida. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see the cheap, oh, dude. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, folks, 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 folks. By the way, thank you, Shajan. I appreciate you. If you're looking for a force or Barker, it is. I thank you, Shajan Anthony. Um, you know what the get-in price is for the Minnesota Lynx Connecticut game at Connecticut? Twenty-seven bucks. No one look. I want y'all to post your 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 guess. Don't look. Please don't look. Twenty-seven dollars. That's my that's my guess. Give me some posts, people. I want to see something here. I want to see. I want to see what people think. <laughs> 15 bucks. <clears throat> come on, oh, come man. on. Give me some responses here. 18 bucks, 25 come on, bucks. Give me 13, some more. 22 give bucks. Give me some more. Give me some 17. more. <laughs> give me some more. Give me some 20. more. Give me some more. Five dollars. <laughs> oh, 20. Any, any, anyone left? Anyone left? 25 cents, 50 cents. <laughs> we're, we're digging into our pocket. Five bucks. You're ten dollars. Ten dollars. Jesus. One ninety-nine. Dude, open $10. door. Girls get in free. It's a club. <laughs> Girls get in free. Bro, ten dollars. Ten dollars. Eleven. Eleven. Sixteen. Seventeen. 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 Oh, eighteen. 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 It's not vivid. Dude, these are not face value. They're taking L's to get rid of these tickets. You have no is it this a can of Coca-Cola? Dude, like this is a great adventure. A can of Coca-Cola get half off your great adventure price. Buy one, get one for you ladies night. You can sit in the lower the lower level for forty dollars. <laughs> like this is this is embarrassing. And this still only sees like ten thousand people. Free bottles. Ten dollars. Ten dollars gets you into the Minnesota Lynx Connecticut Sun game in the playoffs. Pretty no go. Free bottles. Absolutely. And you get four hot dogs. Oh damn! <laughs> I don't know. I'm just twelve dollars. Oh. <laughs> they, they pay me. <laughs> they, pay me. <laughs> they give you an iPhone. <laughs> I mean, this is what we're talking about. You understand that it costs 133 bucks to walk in the building in game one in this same building against the Indiana Fever. Oh, goodness gracious. They take EBT cards. Ben, game one, it was $133 walk-in price to get into the same building for the Indiana oh. Fever. $10. Oh Oh guys, I'm fucking tearing up. And you're gonna and then <laughs> how are you gonna sit here and tell you sign Mer <laughs> Y'all don't believe me, I'll show you if you don't believe me. <laughs> just, just come in showered. Just come in showered and clean. <laughs> I, I can't like this, you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> and they're oh, gonna goodness. sit here and tell <laughs> you that this league matters besides one. Player, <laughs> ten bucks. Oh, oh goodness! Oh, by goodness. the way, in Vegas, I've heard from certain people that if you're gambling, they will give you tickets for free. Wow, Rudy! What I actually just thought as I'm over here laughing, a guilt, oh, 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 Willy Wonka gold coin. It was twenty three bucks at least last time. That's insane. <laughs> Imagine if it's Aces, though Connecticut Sun. By some chance, you have two. But listen to this: you have two teams. 
in the Mohegan Sun, that's a casino. You know what I'm saying? Boxes. That's a casino, though. And then you have Las Vegas. That's a casino. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard, tears are <laughs> blinding my eye right now. Bro, if you're in Vegas on Monday, I mean, they probably play on Monday, I presume. So you might get a free ticket to go see them play. Hey, tell me how in the world the Connecticut's well, – why just, we just figured it out. They're giving away for 10 bucks. They can't move that's this to the Hartford right. Civic Center with 18,000 people. They give away for one dollar. It would be like the Miami Hurricanes in the 1980s. You would go to Burger King. And they would give you a coupon to get in for free to the Hurricane Holy game because nobody would go in the early 1980s until they won the national championship in the early 1980s. 1989, you could go to Burger King and get a coupon to go for free to a Miami Hurricane football game. <laughs> oh man. That's hysterical. Yo, you guys in the you, chat you could, are you hysterical. Could take a, you could take a family of you could take a family of eight for less than a hundred dollars to the Connecticut game. <laughs> That's nice. What oh if my goodness! To get out where the team is allowed to foul the hell out. God, I hope Mitchell doesn't leave. That would hurt me. No, she's not. I don't think she's going anywhere. That would hurt me. I don't think she's going. Oh anywhere. man, she's gonna get a max deal. She's gonna get, she's gonna get a max deal. <laughs> Ten dollars is pitiful. <clears throat> yeah, it's pitiful, JSB. It's I've pitiful. never, I, I, dude, I have never. This is, this is, this is floor. This is Miami Marlins baseball ticket prices. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! You guys, like, they, are they can't give, they can't, they can't give this away. They can't. They People can't. don't want to go. They can't give it away. And they're gonna sit here and tell us ten dollars. Everybody watches women's basketball. The tickets are flying off the shelves, guys. Get them while you get them while you still can before it's sold out. Sold best out. case scenario right now for the WM. Out. See, I thought at first the best case scenario for the WNBA was the Liberty and the and the Lynx. The after after Indiana naturally, the Liberty and the Lynx because you play in adult arenas, um, where, where professionals play. New York will sell out the stadium in the finals. They'll sell out. They'll I'm gonna. Sell out. They'll, they'll sell out. out. They'll sell out. But Minnesota can't fill up the lower bowl. How the hell would they expect Minnesota to open the upper deck and sell out 19, 18, 19,000 seats? They can't sell 9,000 to sit in the lower bowl. And then on top of that, the ratings would be horrible. Uh, it would be worse. I think the Connecticut Liberty Series ratings-wise would be better. Of course, you get and the I freaking Tri State plus yeah, Boston. Yeah, the New York, the, the Northeastern thing, and you get and, to schedule at seven thirty, eight yeah, o'clock, and you would get the New York fans would go to Connecticut to watch because they would happily pay ten dollars for a, a WNBA Finals game, and they'd sell out the. There'd be a bunch. It'd be a Liberty crowd because all these tickets that are available, there's hundred and seventy seven listings on Vivid Seats right now. 177 listings. This building seats 10,000. They, I mean, they might actually consider moving it to Hartford if, if the Liberty are playing them because they would all take, they'd all buy the tickets in Hartford. I mean, that's my guess. I don't think it draws crap in terms of ratings, but the ratings are going to end right here with the Aces and Liberty. The best they're going to get is this. But I do think that Liberty, that Liberty Sun <clears throat> game might might be it. That might be it. Just for the sheer Boston New York rivalry, that, that that might be enough to carry. To be honest with you, to make you, I mean, make people buy the tickets at least. Yeah, buy the, buy the tickets. Uh, Ten. I think I think ratings wise, that might be their best bet. Liberty. I don't. Liberty, I don't think it breaks one. Liberty Sun. It no. 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 We're all we're all already on strike. Like, come on. No. No. We're like These the games are not breaking 1.5. If they could do over 1 million on a random – Ben, it has to be a Thursday. It, has, it can't even ben, be a Thursday. Game one would be on Sunday night football. <laughs> really? Really? That's how the schedule no, set no, up? No, I'm getting well, – But well, you got to think of it, right? You they started Sunday. on Sunday every time else. I mean, for course. Christ you, got, you got NFL on Sunday. You got Monday night football. Tuesday would be the <clears> only <throat> open – would be the only real opening – that they would have because Wednesday there's wrestling Thursday there's Thursday night football Friday there's wrestling as Wednesday Tuesday would really be their only open day that they have to really make something do of their ratings Ben I, I I'm right game one Sunday. game one would be Sunday night October 13th 
Sunday this, night. This is the dumbest league in the history of the world. This is Who's the play? dumbest league in the history of the world. Who's playing Sunday night football that night? Uh, I mean, it could be it could be Tweedledee and Tweedledum. They'll get more viewers than the freaking WNBA. Uh, week six. Well, it's, yeah, week six. It would be uh, the 13th. The 13th is the Saints and the Chiefs. The 13th Sunday night? Oh, that's the seven. I'm sorry. That, no, that's the wrong date. What the hell? You got that? Bengals, Giants. Do you think a fucking New Yorker is watching the fucking Liberty over the Giants? You are out your motherfucking oh mind, folks. You are out your damn fucking mind. I guarantee you. Nobody's watching the It's in New York, Liberty. too. And it's in New York. You just lost your ticket sales. <laughs> that's crazy. And, and, and the Giants do play in Jersey. <laughs> So, 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 so everybody's leaving New York. Everybody's leaving the city while the Liberty are playing a meaningless WNBA <clears> Finals <throat> game. Folks, nobody in the Tri-State's watching the Liberty over the Giants. I'm going to tell you the best way you can Never. save you can, you can get people to watch game one. The best way to get people to watch game one you give is, Clark the, her rookie of the year. is to give Caitlin Clark her Rookie of the Year award during that game. And announce it prior. And announce it and tell the world. We are giving Caitlin Clark her Rookie of the Year award at this game. They're not going to do. It. They're not going to do it. They're not, not going to do it. Then New York would go crazy. And, and this game is going to be. In, this game will be in New York, by the way, in Brooklyn, because it's the Liberty have the the home the home court if they win. But yeah, they they would not do it. They would not do it. But that would be the best way to get people to turn on the television, because at least for a segment, people will watch. For at least a quarter, if they know, and you can't tell people when it's going to be, because if you tell them, they they're just going to time out the quarter. Yeah, and 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 you know, you would do it in the first half, or, or you do it at halftime, and then yeah. you 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 televise it. People will people would watch that. I think. Can you imagine if they if they did that? If they did that, folks, I want to get your opinions. If they did that. And that game drew three million to watch this woman get a rookie of the year award at halftime. You know what you would see? That would be the biggest middle finger, double middle finger to everyone to show you who people care about. But what you will see in the ratings, you will see nine hundred thousand average peak. three point million, three point three million peak. Peak. Three million peak. Because I would watch it just to hear what she's got to say. I would too. Just to see what I would too. Say. I would too. And it's I Sunday would, night. I mean, I would time it to I where I mean, I, I'd watch the score and then I'd pop it on and let's go. Like the 60 time. minute show, exactly, Retro. Like the 60 minute show. When's the Caitlin Clark segment? Okay, I'll watch. Okay, we're done here. Back to what I was. Doing. Oh, and, and by the way, do, do you know what the, I don't know what they give in the NBA for rookie of the year? 5,000 bucks. $5,150 and a trophy? Shit's do you crazy. at least get a Kia Telluride? A car? Do you get an Optimus for Blake Griffin to jump over? I, I, I mean, can you make it a worse prize? It's pathetic. I don't know what they give in the in the in the NBA because I looked it up all, all day today. I could not find it. But they give like a hundred grand just for winning the three point contest. I think, or is it more than that now? That's cr- th- that's actually funny that you pointed that out, Rudy. The fact that <clears throat> we're releasing the measly prize that she's that's going embarrassing. To win. What the fuck? What are we doing here? But look, look, look how well we treat our players. Here's who came up with the I number fifty one hundred dollars. That's crazy. Why not fifty two? Why not fifty five thousand fifty? Why not forty nine hundred? What, what was the fifty one hundred? Is is I, I don't know how you come up with a number like that. That's a good question. I I'm wonder... just curious. What's brilliant freaking marketing whiz? It's got to be something with the player association. Some some type of. Uh... Amounts doled out. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I expect sure. Kaylee Clark would donate it amongst her teammates. Like I think you said that earlier. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, give it to fucking Kelsey Mitchell. Here, Kelsey. Here, Kelsey. Here, here's an extra five G's. You enjoy it. I mean, like, I, I think that would be a brilliant idea. But again, brilliant ideas don't work in the WNBA. No, not at all. Not and I'm not saying it's a brilliant idea because of me. Because I just think it's the only way that you get people to watch this damn train wreck of a WNBA finals. So I don't think that the Liberty versus the Connecticut Sun. Do 1.5 million without Caitlin Clark showing up. Soul Heck, certified. What's up, Soul? <clears throat> Heck, you might want to you want you might want to give her 
an award on the game one, then another award game two, another award game three, another and awards throughout the entire. Well, Rudy, series. I was saying, I was saying they should have at least put out the media announcement tomorrow before the game, so people are like, "Oh, damn, that's right, the WNBA playoffs are going on. Let me watch." But instead, they put it on a dead day, and I understand trying to stay alive when no games are going on, but you just appease us, and now we're back doing what we're doing. There could be some fans out there that are like, oh, you know what? She got her award. Let me go watch some WNBA basketball. Just since it's on their mind. Once we get to tomorrow, it's not going to be on their minds anymore. It's going to be over with. Asia, I'm the face of the WNBA. 